this is Dino. Welcome to my channel, y'all. I just finished work this afternoon and I have a little bit of time, so I decided to come in my craft room. Y'all have kept it clean so far. It makes me happy, but I've only been able to, I wasn't able to come in last night. Um, but anyway, I had a request uh, from multiple people asking me to make smaller scrunchies, okay? These are the large scrunchies that I make. You see how nice and large and fluffy they are? I love these big ones. So these are some smaller ones. And so I did have requests for some, for, um, for a little quick tutorial on how to make one that's smaller. So I thought I would do that today. This cute little fabric is some cute unicorn fabric. Look at this. Isn't that darling? So I thought it would be super cute. I might make some of these smaller ones for my craft fair. I really enjoy making the larger ones. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I feel. I really like these big ones. And I really think that a lot of people are going to love the bigger ones. So, okay. So I'm going to use the fabric I have out here. And as you see, I've already got it lined up on my table. And so for the scrunchie I'm going to make today, this is of course going to be smaller. Normally I cut my fabric at seven inches by the width of the fabric. Okay. Today I'm going to cut it at four and a half. Okay. So I've got my ruler already on four and a half. I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to try to cut straight because you know, sometimes it gets hard if I'm not leaning directly on, but I'm going to give it a good old try. This is a good rotary cutter, y'all. I'm just telling you, look at that. That cuts so nicely. So for this one, you don't want to use the whole width of your fabric, okay? You only want to use only half of the width of the fabric. So the half is just this part, okay? The whole width of the fabric would be all of it, okay? So we're going to take it, we're going to cut this in half. Let me grab my scissors here, and we're going to cut this just right down the middle of this fold. So, these are going to be four and a half by half of the width of the fabric. Okay, so half. So, the fold, when I say the width of the fabric, that usually means it's on a fold and we've got both sides. But for this one, I cut that in half, so it's only gonna be one. So now I can make two of these out of this one piece. Okay, so let's get on over to the sewing machine. Okay, so just like I made the larger ones, I'm gonna use the burrito method for this one as well, okay? So the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna take both of my ends and I'm gonna put them with pretty sides of the fabric together, okay? So I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna stick this under my machine. And we're gonna sew this one quick seam. So I like to do a back stitch, you never know. You never know, something's gonna come out. And y'all, thank you so much for all your comments on my last video. I told a story about my, my finger getting sewed up in my machine. There are so many of you that have, have uh, you can call it war wounds from sewing, from, you know, just things that have happened with you. So I'm glad everybody was okay. So, okay, so now let's get back over here. So now what you're gonna do, and the nice thing about this one is, is not as long as like doing the, the larger one. So this one doesn't take as long. So I like to put my seam up here on the top. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it in and then take this part and fold it, okay? So you wanna put that like right in the middle and then you're gonna take this and kinda of grab these edges and put them together. I'm gonna to use a clip. Um, normally I don't clip if it's, just, if it's just me sewing, but for the sake of the video, I'll pull out the old clips. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start. I'm gonna make sure that all my fabric is down inside and I'm not sewing over the edge. Okay. Pull up my machine just a tad. I like to be able to reach it good. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add this underneath my presser foot. Of course, lining up my fabric 
with the edge of the presser foot. That's how I, I, that's just what I do. Some people say quarter inch, some say different, different um, widths of whatever on their seam allowances. I just usually use the edge of my thing. Y'all, I am no professional. I just sew. I just like to sew. And so that's just what I do. But there are a lot of people out there that are super, super wonderful and seamstresses and all that. Dina just sews crafts and scrunchies. Okay, I'm gonna get over here. Keep going down a little bit more. About right here. Okay, and then what you're gonna do, I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna reach inside here and you're gonna hold one side with your hand and then pull the inside piece out this end. And you can go over here and you can kind of fix it, kind of arrange it, make sure it's coming through good. This is where using the down feature, if you have that feature on your machine, comes in handy. Keeps anything from moving around. Okay, so there I've got it out where I need it. You're gonna line up the edge, making sure that you're not rolling over the fabric. Once you get down here, you're gonna pull some more out. So it's like you're pulling out, it's just a tube. That's what it is. I'm gonna keep pulling, getting it straight. Continue to sew. See how much more I've got. I shouldn't have too much more. This is one of the reasons I like the larger ones because the fabric is wider and to me they're easier. It takes more fabric, but they turn out so beautiful. Okay, so I'm almost down to where I started. So I'm going to go and where I started, here's the seam right here. So, I'm gonna keep sewing. Okay, I'm gonna make sure nothing is being in the way. Come on, fabric, get over there where I want you to. Okay, so here is where I started, right here. You wanna leave an opening so you can Turn it. So, I'm gonna go ahead. I back stitch. I'm gonna pull this out. See how that looks? So, now what you're going to do is you're going to pull it. You're gonna reach up inside there and pull the piece that's up inside, and you're just gonna pull it through the hole that you left. So, when I was making the big ones, I actually got so busy and just really engrossed in what I was doing that I turned it outside, inside out, the right way out, and I went ahead and I sewed the whole clothes before I even put the, before I even put the elastic in. So friends, don't, don't forget that part. The elastic is pretty important if you want a scrunchie. Okay, kind of making everything as pretty as I can get it. This is what it looks like, okay? So now what you're going to need is you're going to need your um, elastic and I use a bodkin. This is just a clover bodkin. I got it on Amazon. My elastic, this is my go-to. I'm loving this. It's a half an inch of non-roll elastic. That's what I use. So I'm going to use, I'm still going to go with eight inches. I feel like the ones I made earlier, eight inches was still a good length for my elastic. So I'm gonna use eight inches. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my bodkin, and if you don't have one of these, use the safety pin, okay? Here's the hole right here that we didn't sew close. 
you're just gonna put this in and you're going to start pulling it through. Hold onto that end because you don't want that part to you don't want that part to go go up inside because then you're kind of having to start over. So I like to flip mine over so I can see it coming through. And here's the end. And now I've been using fabric glue. It works great. It helps to give extra stability and it helps you when you're trying to sew. So you, I'm using Fabri-Tac. Okay. Let's make sure I don't have any glue dried up here. Come on, glue. Okay, get some glue on there, and I'm just gonna put this on. I like to use my wonder clips and hold this, hold them together so the glue will dry. It will grab if you don't want to do that, but I like to do that, okay? So I'll come back in just a few minutes and we'll finish sewing this up. Okay, so I waited a few minutes for this to dry. I went ahead and sewed the other one that I had because remember I cut it in half. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my clips off. I think it's fairly dry. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna sew across here. And the, what the glue does is it just helps to hold it in place while so it makes it easier for you to sew. So I try to just kind of keep sewing all the way over. And I do this a couple of times. And just keep sewing. I do it until I feel like it's good. Okay. So that should be good. Then you're going to trim your threads. One time I called it string. My mama used to always call it that, her strings. And I had a lot of people come after me saying, it's not string, it's thread. I know, I know. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you're gonna close this up. So you're gonna just make sure the edge is under there nicely. You can use a clip or something and hold that closed. And you're going to sew from there to there, back stitching at the beginning and the end. I like to change my, I'm going to change my stitch length to about a two. Okay. That way it makes it even smaller, less chance for it to come out. I'm going to go ahead and use my down feature. I'm going to back stitch here. And so I'm going to have to sew to about where my, where my finger is. Get over there, back stitch, and all you do is fix your scrunchie. And this dropped it, y'all. You fix it, and you're done. Easy. Now, if you have a label, which I don't, and I'm thinking about getting some, I was thinking about that today on my lunch break. I was thinking about I want to do labels on things that I sew because I don't. Because to me, this is not a business. It's just something fun I do. There you go. So look at that. Let's go ahead and see if I can sew the other one really fast. Then I'll have another one. I might make about, maybe about, maybe 20 of these. These are a little bit smaller. Actually, I can't do this one. It's not dried yet. We're gonna let this one dry. But I think you got it. I think you can do this. If you're new to sewing, this is beginner friendly, and yeah. So let's take a look at, okay. So here's the one I just made. I like to make sure my seam, see the seam? I like to make sure it's out of the outside. You wanna make sure, if you're gonna sell these, you make sure you try out your, your elastic, make sure nothing's gonna break. And see how it's a smaller type scrunchie compared to the XLs. So this is a big boy and that's a little boy. Or in this case, this is a big girl, big girl and a little girl. 
there we go. So now I have these super cute. I love this fabrics. Now the fabrics that I'm using, these are cotton. And this one is like, like a different, it's like almost like a, I don't know if it's a cotton blend or what is it, what it is. It feels cotton, but it's soft and everything. And I absolutely just love this. And I love how, how bunched up it is. And, um, yeah, I think they're cute. Anyway, I hope that this helps you for the smaller scrunchie. I hope this is what you, if you requested, I hope this is what you were looking for, something smaller. Um, if you want to make your scrunchie wider or the fabric wider, just cut it larger than four and a half inches. Cut it at five and a half because this one is cut at seven. Okay. And this is also the width of the fabric, the whole width. This is only half of the fabric, half of the width of the fabric. So anyway, I hope this helps you. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing and all your support. Love you guys. Bye.